Well, um, one of the interesting things about the panel has been uh, just exactly how many different types of uh, uh, principles and uh, underpinnings we could think of and use. I think uh, it does come back to this issue of creating trust. It comes back to the issue of ensuring that humans have uh, the basic fundamental right to freedom and the basic fundamental right. In the same way that we say people should have freedom of, mo of movement in the physical world, I feel that people should have freedom of movement in the digital world as well. So how do we ensure this while um, providing for cyber security as well? Honestly? Yeah, um, I, I sadly believe that the, the, the one time that we're going to start really realising how we have to come together is when something goes dramatically wrong. So we've started to see that companies like Facebook and Twitter are responding to fake news now that we've had, um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, we, we've started to see some movement as a result of fake news. We've started to see some digital companies now trying to take action um, over those issues. And I think it's when things go wrong that people start to realise, no, we really do need to coordinate and cooperate with one another in order to protect our society and protect what we as humans think is important. Um, what I hope the panel can do is take us to a point where we have some frameworks and reference points to identify where things may go wrong before they happen or to identify some basic fundamental principles that are needed for every single type of techn technology or technical engagement. Interesting question. I'm not an expert on the Declaration of Human Rights, but uh, for me, digital technologies are a tool, and so therefore our application of any of those tools needs to have its foundation in that declaration, rather than the other way around. So that's my, I think they should be embedded into digital solutions.